What's up, everybody? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. There is a lot that we need to talk about, so let's go. The past few days have been kind of unbearable and so crazy that it's just ridiculous to always talk about Donald Trump in my videos. You know, it's all, every time he does something wrong and I have to say something about it and just so horrible. What do I mean? Well, a few days ago on Friday, Trump went to speak at a law enforcement op, uh, engagement in Brentwood, New York, and he said a few things that, you know, it makes you think as to how in the hell did we make him the president, but yet you go and say, yeah, I know why. But on that day, he made some remarks that, you know, kind of encouraged the treatment of some people in police custody, and you know, you should just look at it. I said, please don't be too nice. Like when you guys put somebody in the car and you're protecting their head, you know, the way you put their hand over. Like, don't hit their head and they've just killed somebody, don't hit their head. Now, after that statement was made by Trump, you know, apparently some people praised this. But, you know, there are police departments out there and they went online on Twitter and they said, hey, we not doing this. Like, for instance, the Suffolk uh, uh, County Police Department, whose jurisdiction is in a county in which Trump was and he they had a few words about Trump saying along the way and then along with that you had Gainesville police who said a few words about that as well the Philadelphia Police Department the Seattle Police Department the Houston Police Department and so many more police departments because like them they don't think that that is right because that is idiotic on so many levels because if for me I have family who are in the military not in the military in the police academy and I know that they won't be doing that because A, they aren't that crazy to do that, and B, they actually make sure that they actually doing what they're supposed to be doing out there protecting people and not harassing people as well. So you you just wanna make yourself well known, Trump, as like the worst, and I say this with emphasis, the worst president of the United States. And I mean you already are. But I just gotta say, it's it's ridiculous to hear about this. But then moving on, talking with Trump and his staff at the White House, you know, you also have your guy, Anthony uh, Scaramucci, aka The Mooch, who was your White House communication director for 10 days. 10 days, y'all. So basically, Trump, you made the movie How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. So I'm just saying, you made it happen, and it happened. Now, you know, he was a former Wall Street uh, financer after drawing criticism after calling a reporter you know, profanity lace tryout against his colleagues and everything on the way. And it's re it's funny to hear about this, you know, because the guy just got the position and now he lost the position. You know, it's 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 crazy and everything on the way. And then along with him, you got both Trump's former chief of staff, uh, Rents Prius, and his spokesman, Sean Spicer. They also left that position. So, you know, it's, it's he just losing people from the get go from like here, left, right, that kind of thing and everything on the way. Now, the registration uh, previous came on Friday after Scaramucci, you know, posted uh, and then deleted a tweet saying that in light of the leak of my financial disclosure and info, which is a felony, I will be contacting the FBI and the Justice Department, hashtag swamp, hash, uh, at rents45. So you, you're kind of wondering what, what was that tweet about and why did he delete it? Basically, the, the tweet was, you know, it was somewhat as a interpretation of uh, an accusation of and a threat against rents because apparently rents was leaking out that sort of information towards the public and everything along the way. But, excuse me. But he then later on tweeted saying, wrong. Uh, tweet was public notice to leakers that all senior admin of officials are helping to end illegal leaks. So, wh what? These leaks is just it's weird and everything along the way. But here's the thing. The leak wasn't a leak. The forms, you know, that were put out, they were actually released on public and therefore on public information. So under federal law, anyone could request this and have gotten it. And this is just unbearable, like I said earlier, to hear about all this. And then you also have, uh, a, a, apparently, you know, Trump's new chief of staff, General John Kelly, you know, he was letting his people know, say, hey, we're not having this, you know. We had to let the guy go, you know, it's, it's, it'll be a well fit for the team and everything along the way. And then, I just have a question for Trump. You love General uh, Kelly, but what about the other two guys who were your chief of staff? So I'm, I'm just trying to figure out 
What did you say about those guys? As the president predicts, General Kelly will go down as one of the greatest chiefs of staff ever. Let us remind you who has also received similar over-the-top praise. I think of a great man, and I want to just introduce you to him for a second. We've kept it a surprise. Senator Jeff Sessions. Jeff Sessions is a fantastic man. Jeff Sessions is one of the most highly respected people in the United States Senate. He's a man of integrity, a man of principle, and a man of total, utter resolve. Ryan Priebus, who I just spoke to, uh, he's doing a tremendous job. It's not an easy job when he had 17 egos, and now I guess he's down to one. But I'll tell you, Reince is really a star, and he is the hardest working guy. Reince, come up here. Where is Reince? Get over here, Reince. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Right. So let's just see where you're actually going on with this. But, you know, apparently Trump wasn't pleased with Saramucci's performance and everything along the way, his spokeswoman, Sarah Sanders, said that Trump thought that Scaramucci's re re comments to the reporter uh, previous about this whole fiasco were inappropriate for a person in that position. So, you know, even though his position was short, he managed to do a lot of order disputing along the way. He just kept talking, talk, 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 talk. It kind of reminds me of that one dude from Futurama who was, tr who was trying to cure his bonitis. You know, if you know who I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but that wasn't it. The only thing that happened with Scaramucci. Um, along with this, his wife, Deirdre, she filed for divorce. Now, you're probably wondering, Brian, what, what's going on with this? You know, wh why are you talking about his wife and everything? Well, funny thing, because uh, she did this while she was nine months pregnant. So she was fed up with... All Scaramucci's lies and everything along the way, you know, the guy, he just talks and talks. That's why he's called the Mooch. And, you know, when they, when Deirdre had the child of Scaramucci, uh, you know, funny thing, the guy was actually in West Virginia with Trump, with the Boy Scouts Jamboree, and <laughs> we all know how that went, so there you go. And he, he texted his wife saying, hey, congratulations, I'll pray for our baby. Whoop. What? No, you you don't do that, dude. You do not do that. If you have a child that's about to be born and raised, you gotta be there. You can't just say, hey, I love you, but I gotta go over here because I gotta do this thing. No, you go over there and you be there for your child because they are gonna be the first thing to see. You're gonna be first thing, my apologies, to see in their lives. And that's a good thing. And then finally, we're gonna talk about Kathy Griffin. You know, she came back, y'all. You know... I know what you're thinking. It's not to make fun of anybody, but to support somebody. So, Kathy Griffin, you know, she has her trademark red hair and everything, but she shaved it off. Uh, and so, uh, to be a part with her sister who is going through chemo. So, you know, it's kind of beautiful to hear about this a long way, and this is really wonderful. And, you know, the last time we heard about her, it was she was having a picture of her holding a decapitated fake head of Donald Trump and blood was sticking out and everything along the way, and she got so much trouble. She lost a lot, y'all. It's just, it's crazy, you know, and I don't know what to say about it. But I do support that she's doing this for her sister in a long way. However, there are people out there who think, oh, you know, maybe this is just like a stunt or something. You know, she's just trying to get people to remember her, you know, bring her back and everything. But who knows, you know, and I, I'm figuring, you know, she's out there being supportive of her sister and that's a good thing. But with that being said, you guys let me know what is on your mind about the whole Trump and the police thing, the Scaramucci guy, uh, Kathy Griffin, so much more. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Let the people know I'm out there for you guys. I am here for you guys. I love you guys no matter what. And with that being said, love you guys. Again.